Kendo Podcast Episode 199. In this episode, I want to talk about the difference between Shiai and Keiko. Kendo Podcast by Hiro Mafuji from kendoguy.com. Thank you for listening. This podcast is about Japanese martial arts kendo for kendo lovers and supported by kendo enthusiasts through patreon.com. Thank you for your support, guys. Please visit kendoguy.com for more kendo information and how to support kendoguy.com. Welcome to Kendo Podcast episode 199, I think. Uh, all right. Uh, I received a question about Shiai and uh, he is 41 years old and he wanted to you know, of course, we are in the middle of pandemic, so we cannot train right now. But he wanted uh, to. Uh, uh, he asked me if he could participate in a tournament and go against the younger people. You know, uh, over 40 years old. Yes, it is very hard to. You know, he wants to get back into the shape. Uh, I think it's a great thing. It's, uh, you know, aiming at a particular thing and, and train yourself. Uh, so that is a great thing, you know, you need a goal. And going against younger people is very hard, but it's not possible, you know. So uh, I want to talk about the difference between Keiko and Shiai. Now, Shiai, the big differences uh, in Shiai, okay, there are three people who will decide who gets what. In Shiai, right? In Keiko, it's between you and your opponent who decides who gets what, right? And that is very different, right? So you gotta remember that. Now, because that's the difference, you will hear about, oh, that those referees didn't give me good, you know, uh, they, they misjudged me, they misjudged. Of course they do, right? And there are a lot of uh, criticism <laughs> on referees after a tournament, right? And that's that. That's the nature of Shiai. Someone will decide who gets what. And the reason we shouldn't complain about it is that it looked like it, okay? So you have to remember that. Whatever it looks like, it's a like man strike, it was good man strike, it was good counter strike, it was good door strike, it was good suki. That person who did that and make made judges, referees, to think, oh, that was good, win. That's the nature, all right? Now, so it depends on what judges, what referees think as a good point, right? Good strike or good uh, skip, thrust. So it really depends on referees so you have that is the main difference and the big difference and so you have to that means you have to convince the third people okay so if you can convince those three people that you get it even if you didn't hit a target you get a point Okay. You don't like it, but that happens to you and your opponent too. You didn't hit a target, but for some reason you gain a point, right? That's the mystery of Shia. You know you didn't get it. You, you know you didn't hit a target, but you get the point. And Kendo wise, I think you have to apologize to your opponent. 
but it's up to you. I always apologize. If I know I didn't get it, I apologize. No, I didn't get it, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gained that point. But that happens to you, that happens to everyone. So what's the difference?、Uh, you know,、uh, a lot of people say this as well. You have to give first a good impression to your referees. I know referees shouldn't be、uh, influenced by appearance or whatever. You know, maybe you know that competitor. You shouldn't be, aff- be affected. Your judgment shouldn't be affected by those factors. But they are human. Okay? They do their best to judge, to referee, fair and square, but deep inside in their head, without an you know, unconscious level, human has preference. All right? So, judges as well. If you go to the,、uh, what do you call it?、Uh, Shinsa exam, good kendo is a you know, good impression, will, it will be a plus, right? Impression. Interview too. You go to a job interview, and if you give them, what, what is the first thing you want to do? Give a good impression, right? And keep that impression all the way through, and you maybe get a job. Maybe you are not qualified, even after giving, you a, good,、uh, giving a good impression. That's life. Maybe you're a good person. Doesn't mean you pass the exam, right? So, be sure you have to think about you know, this shouldn't happen. Okay, this shouldn't happen, but、uh, your the, the referee levels, if referee, referee levels are low, you cannot, sh- you cannot strike complicated、uh, techniques. You cannot execute complicated techniques. They might not ever seen that technique before. Okay, this is very common. If you've never seen that technique before, You can't judge it. And you, referees, get a, get a you know, they, they can get surprised as well. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? You know, and they forgot. They will delay their judgment. You know, you know because they've never seen that before. And they go, Whoa, what was that? Man, that was cool. And then they, the moment passed. So you didn't get a point, you know. So, like, I, you know, I don't want to say this, but you, if you think you got it, you have to go, oh, man, you have to take great sanction.、Uh, so, that is convincing your referees. You didn't see that? I got it, man. You know? So, but, you know, that, that is kind of. Uh, as you become advanced,、uh, you, you, if you get hit, for example, if I, you know, going against e s t a n Sensei,、uh, maybe you don't,、uh, they, don't get, they don't hit my kote or man or door properly, but I know that was a great opportunity, great timing, and I was, I was made. To strike their men. And, you know, they, they set a trap and I beautifully fell into that trap, but they didn't really completely hit my target. But I still feel I sh- this is what you should be feeling. You should feel complete defeat. That's Keiko. Okay? That's Keiko. But in, and so I think. That is a part of kendo training. Shiai, for example, even if that happens, okay, and you have to get a target, my higher level、uh, shiai, that is not always the case.、Uh, you know, especially in the old days, a lot of senses said, 
that was a good opportunity. Didn't hit the target properly, but should have been ippo. Okay, that happened a lot. Uh, so time changes a lot of things. So uh, you know we cannot complain about it. Nowadays, if you you know uh, tendency wise, and also a lot of Kindle, Kindle senses says, oh, we should be should be doing this. Wait until they take good sanction, and then uh, raise your flag if it's an important or not. Because that's a, uh, I know I hate to say this, but it's a part of criteria to get a ippon. Zanshin is not a criteria, it shouldn't be a criteria to get a ippon. Zanshin should be a matter, etiquette, must do, because it's a teaching, right? Teaching in Kendo. Zanshin is a teaching, not a criteria to get a point. But uh, so, teaching wise, you get, you, you take Zanshin, showing your awareness, I'm ready, I'm still ready, I get you. You know, I got you, but I'm still ready to fight if it's necessary. Okay, so that's a whole package. Before, during, after, you have to have good candle, and that is that leads to your daily life. That's why we are training candle. Uh, so good preparation, good execution. Good, uh, what do you call it? Follow through. Okay, so that is one package. So uh, you, we practice that in normal kinko, and you show that in shiai, and you show that in uh, exam. You should be fine, theoretically, but. Uh, in Shiai, there is a tendency if you get a hit, okay. Remember, if someone hit you on a target, for the Mendotsuki, uh, quite likely you lose it, okay, to them. You want to give it to them. It doesn't matter the posture. Uh, it should, it should matter. Okay, don't get me wrong should matter but the nature of shi'ai sadly you know it depends on referee levels on all kinds of stuff right uh, if you get hit remember if you get hit you will lose but of course uh, that's why the number one thing don't get hit in shi'ai it doesn't mean don't defend yourself all the time don't block all the time Okay, so because Shi'ai, the nature of Shi'ai should be, it is, uh, you know, uh, tr uh, what do you call it? Uh, not uh, testing yourself, testing, yeah, testing yourself, testing your daily training. Was well, it good? Do I, can I do what I've been training? Okay, in this intense situation. That's, the nature it should be the purpose of Shi'ai, okay, the true nature of Shi'ai. So I don't want you to block all the time, but truth is, all right, truth is, if you get hit, you will lose. It doesn't matter their posture, doesn't matter their sanction, okay, it should matter. And good Shimpan is looking at it, right? But don't count on it because we have to rely on third parties to judge what was Ippo. So if you do complicated stuff, they might not realize that, you know, 100 men all of a sudden, you see. So anyway, uh, you have to strategy wise, you have to gain your, you know, gain, you have to you have to give a good impression to you referees. So if you have like if you if your Kia is really weak, that a good impression. Again, uh, if you compare your Kia and your opponent's Kia, if your opponent's Kia is going, yeah, you know, it feels so committed, 
that is one you know no doubt it's a requirement you know good ki is a requirement so of course again we have we are trying to we are doing good judges fair and square judges but again the more you correctly you practice kendo when you see something like that good kiai and bad kiai you know you will draw your favor into that competitor you know it, let's say you go, yeah man i mean the both striking men at the same time you know your kia is good your posture is good your zanshin was perfect you're gonna get it it's no doubt right so if you think about hidden that's why i think it's beautiful that's the beauty of kingdom it's not the hidden part it's the you know we don't put value the most valuable thing is the whole process i believe right that's why of course your hidden part is important but preparation execution and a follow through oh you are you did a really good job man you know and it's a matter of uh let's say both hitting the target but it's split, split second we have to judge who got who go what you know who go men uh, i mean it's very hard to judge but after all what how you look like is more important and of course angle changes your judges your judges of your judge as well so if you have experience in referees you have to position yourself good otherwise you can't see it if you can't see what happens you can't judge so same thing uh if you know that you have to put yourself into the position so every every single referee can see you in other words, put yourself so they can't see your opponent strike. <laughs> you know, again, I don't like it, but that's a tactic. You know, you have to know that's the truth of Shia because we involve third party. Okay. So if they don't see it, even if you strike good, they can't judge your strike. If the same thing happened, right, to your opponent. So always put yourself in a good position so they can judge fair and square. This is a point. Fair and square, they will judge your strike. And fair and square, they will judge your opponent's strike. So don't strike at the edge of Shiaijo. You know, blah, 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 and then you strike at the edge of uh, if your referees are not fast enough to chase you. <laughs> They can't judge, right? Again, shouldn't happen, but does happen. So that is a a you know uh, what the difference between shy and keiko. Of course, if you do good kendo, your tendency wise, you will win, but it's not always the case. Okay, so. Uh, I want you to remember that, okay, and, you know, the more you do Shia, you can kind of get the idea of what you should be doing, but, you know, uh, I don't want you to be sneaky like I used to be when I was, you know, when I was uh, having competed in, <laughs> competed in life or when I was, you know, younger, uh, through elementary schools, through uh, high school. I know how to, you know, I don't want to say this, but there are a lot of things you have to know in Shia, because Shia, you need some kind of technique because we have penalty and all kind of stuff, you know, it's actually competition and we have rules. So you have to know these rules. And uh, if you are old, you know, all the competitors, don't worry about those rules. Again, you have to know third party will judge in you. So you have to know uh, how they look at you, how they uh, see your candle, your opponent's candle is a part of factor. Okay, uh, like it or not, that happens. And also, 
the angles of uh, how they see you guys, actual angle, physical angle matters as well. So if you move around too much uh, and referees cannot, you know, uh, catch up with you, that's bad too. And of course, uh, experience of referees matters. But, you know, you that's the same, that's the same to your uh, opponent as well. So basically you are fighting on the same condition. So we can't complain. If, if you don't want to lose, you have to know third party is judging. So you have to give good impression. That's the nature of human being. You know, they have preference. And also uh, make sure uh, you are well seen by those referees so they can judge your strike and then of course uh, be proud of yourself be proud of your kendo do what you can do you know when you lose lose what whatever happens you lose okay so please I'm, I'm sure it's not fair but again your competitors uh, your your opponents fight under the same condition so you know we can't complain so, but if you want to win, you have to know these factors. Okay. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next podcast. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com/slash kendo for life.